Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to add watermarks for your edits like this in Filmora and also After Effects. I will show you step by step how to do this so you can easily follow my steps, so let's get started. Alright guys, first let's see how to do it in Filmora. So here I did the face tracking part, and I changed the layer to the compound clip, like this. Then I added a text layer for the watermark. So you can add a text layer, and customize it. So I'm going to put this watermark, right here. So first we need to take a snapshot of this text. So first hide the video layer, and take a snapshot like this. Then unhide the video layer, so next we are going to add Mocha Filmora for the tracking. So let's add it to the video layer. So go to the effects tab, select Mocha Filmora and add it to the video layer. Then go to the effects settings and launch Mocha UI. All right, then select the drawing tool and draw the area that you want to track. Then you can enable show surface tracking and adjust it like this. After that, go to the Track section and enable Perspective. After that, click Start Tracking. Alright, after that, let's import the watermark, so go to the Insert, and in the Insert clip, you need to select None, and it will open a new window like this. Then select the snapshot you took, and click Import. And now it appears our watermark like this. And also sometimes it will appear some random image in your snapshot folder. So if this happens, go back to the image selection, then create a new folder, and move the snapshot to that folder. After that, you can import the watermark. Like that, you can fix that issue. So after adding the watermark, we need to do some adjustments. So go to the transform and you can use these settings to adjust the watermark. So I adjust it like this. All right, after that, let's change the blend mode. So go to the comp, and here you can change the blend mode. So here I change it to multiply. Then you can adjust the opacity a little bit and also enable motion blur. All right, then you can save the project and close the Mocha UI. After that, select module render and enable render. In module section, select insert composite and it's done. Next, let's see how to make this tattoo watermark in Filmora. So this is the clip I use for this example, and like before I did face tracking part, and I changed the layer to the compound clip. Next, you need to create a text layer, so this is the text I use for the watermark. So I'm going to put this watermark right here. So like before, we need to take a snapshot of this, so I take it like this. Alright, next let's add Mocha Filmora, so go to the Effects tab, select Mocha Filmora, and add it to the video clip. Then launch the Mocha UI. Then select the Drawing tool and draw the selection like this. All right, then go to the track section. In here, you need to enable perspective and also mesh options. After enabling mesh, it will looks like this. Next, let's adjust the settings. So in here, you can select the generation mode as automatic or uniform. For this, I use uniform. Next here, we can change the mesh size. So I change this to something like 20. Then keep this settings enabled and click the generate mesh button. And now it will look like this. 
Then you can enable auto smoothness option and then start tracking. All right, after the tracking, let's import the watermark. So like before, I import the snapshot. Then go to the transform and adjust the watermark like this. Also, you can add a little curve look like this. Then like before, adjust the blending. All right, after that, save the project and close the Mocha UI. Then go to the module render and enable render and it's done. That's how you can add watermarks for your videos in Filmora. Now it's pretty easy with the new Mocha plugin, so now you can try it. All right, next let's see how to add watermarks like this in After Effects. In After Effects, we have several methods for tracking. So for this, I'm going to use Mocha. So let's add that, select the layer and add Mocha AE. Also, if you have Mocha Pro, you can use Mocha Pro instead. So in here, I use Mocha AE, then launch the Mocha UI. Then we need to draw the selection. So select the drawing tool and draw the area that you want to track. Then you can enable show surface tracking and adjust it like this. After that, go to the track section and enable perspective. After that, click start tracking. All right, then save the project and close the Mocha UI. Then you need to create a text layer for the watermark, like this. So after creating one, go to the Mocha settings, select tracking data, and click create track data. Then change the export option to transform. And in the layer section, select your watermark text layer. After that, click apply export. And now the watermark is placed on the tracking area like this. Next, we need to do some adjustments, so select the text layer and hit U key. Now you can see all the keyframes it created. So then we can adjust the position, but you can see it will change the position only for this keyframe. So make sure to select all keyframes before you adjust it. All right, next we need to blend this with the video layer, so select the video layer and duplicate it. Then bring the duplicated layer on top of the text layer and remove the Mocha plugin. Then click this to toggle switches. Then link the text layer to the duplicated layer and click this to change it to the Luma mat. Then select this layer and add curves. And adjust the curve something like this. All right, next select the text layer and add the Gaussian blur effect and change the value to something around 2.5. So it helps to reduce the sharp look on the watermark and it's done. Next, let's see how to make this tattoo watermark in After Effects. 
So for this, you can use Mocha Pro or a plugin called Lockdown. So I'm going to use Lockdown plugin because it's quick and easy. And also, if you need any plugin help, you can join my Discord. All right, now let's add the Lockdown plugin. Then click this pop out button. Next, we need to draw the selection for tracking. So hold the control key and draw the selection like this. Then click the track all button to track the selection. All right, the tracking is complete. Then you can close the window. Next, click this lockdown button and it will create two new layers like this. So next we need to add our watermark. So go into this compound clip and here you can see it has a dot overlay so you can hide it like this. Next, you need to add your watermark, so I add it like this. Then we need to make this look a little bit curved, so select the pen tool and draw the curve line like this. Then go to the text, select path option, then select the mask we drew. After that, adjust it. Then go to the main comp. So now you can see our watermark perfectly tracked. Then like before you can blend this with the video layer so I do it like this. and it's done. So guys, that's how you can place your watermarks on your edits using Filmora and After Effects. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more tutorials like this, you can simply join my channel. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.